Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're going to be making this envelope inspired napkin holder. So for this, we need a couple of foam sheets and I'm using white. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is sketching my napkin. And because of my napkins are going to be laying down, I'm going to just be sketching that. Marking a bit more of, of like the size of my napkin with a ruler and my pencil. And then I'm just going to cut that. And I'm going to be making this twice because I'm using foam paper. Then I'm going to be taking another sheet, folding in half, and then just cutting that. And those I'm going to be folding in half as well, and I'm going to cut them too. So now I have like five pieces, and I'm going to mark which one goes where. So the one on top is going to be number one, then the one on the bottom is going to be number two, left is going to be number three, and the one on the right is going to be number four. So I'm just going to be pretty much working around the one in the middle, the one that has all the numbers on it, and I'm just going to be working on the size, like to make this even to that one. And now it's time to assemble the whole thing. I'm going to be working with my hot glue, and I'm going to be uh, hot gluing the two bases. I'm going to be folding the walls in half i'm not gonna cut them just fold them so while i fold it i'm just going to be marking a spot on middle and then with my ruler i'm just going to be marking from like the top edges towards the dot and i'm just going to cut that and for number two i didn't do this because i left that space empty so now i'm going to be uh, gluing the whole thing using my hot glue you can apply the hot glue on like the base and then glue it like that or you can hot glue the walls or the edges and just glue that it's pretty important though that you hold them while they are drying so they don't like dry with an angle. And because I didn't add anything on number two, I felt like it was a bit not as strong as I wanted to be. So what I ended up doing with the part of number two that I didn't use, I ended up cutting three stripes and then just gluing them on the like edges of my walls in there. And yeah, this helped a lot. And now it's time for my fifth part, which is folding the things out and just gluing that part. And so by doing this, it's going to be giving this a pretty cool effect. Now I'm kind of like working on some details here. For that, I'm going to be taking my hot glue. I'm going to be working on a piece of wax paper and I'm just going to be doing this, which is pretty much releasing some hot glue and letting it uh, fall into kind of like a round shape and then just letting it dry. It dries super fast, to be honest. I didn't expect it to dry this fast. And as you can see right here, it took me like a bunch of different tries to get to the tree that I like the most. But yeah, I'm just going to be peeling this from the wax paper. And then I'm going to be hot gluing this to that part of the envelope. Then I'm going to be using this vintage white acrylic paint and this brush that I ended up not using. I ended up using a bigger brush and a softer one. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to be pretty much covering the whole thing, giving this few coats until it's a big enough. And then because I ended up having a bunch of like leftover glue things, I decided to use four as feet. Just glued for one per corner and then I just painted the whole thing. It actually makes a huge difference with this four feet. I think it looks much better. And yeah, guys, this is the napkin holder idea that I want to share with you. I honestly like it. At first when I was painting this, I thought it was gonna be like way too plain and simple because it's just white, but I ended up really liking this because it's clean, simple, but it looks nice because of the detail of the folding uh, effect. It's pretty lightweight, perfect if you're on budget. It doesn't look as bad, I don't think. But yeah, guys, I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more home decor stuff coming up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.